approach him about it. That's the scary shit, right? Like that guy in Long Island. His wife had no idea he's out there killing prostitutes for several decades. Oh, dude. I mean, serial killer stuff is so fascinating to me. So fascinating. And how you can just live your life normally. And they get away with it. Some of them, like the Zodiac Killer, they never caught that guy. He got away with it. Man. I thought they caught him. He's still out there? I believe. They never found him? I believe they never caught the Zodiac Killer. I'm pretty sure. I'm fascinated by John Wayne Gacy's stuff. Ugh. It's fascinating. Okay. It's because it, because it's such an insane house. level of yeah. psychosis. Dressing up like a clown. It's and so terrifying. Kids. Yeah. And just burying them under the house. Never caught. Fuck. Never caught the Zodiac. Wow. Killer. Yeah. That's part of life. Though. The official investigation remains open. Public interest has remained high. Countless theories have gained traction over the years, pointing a finger at various men who share physical markers or specific interests with the famed killer. They did crack the code though, but I did yet. They did? I don't think they know who he is. So. AI was like, I could get that quick. That's we, what I thought it was, why actually. Why it take so much sure. time for you dummies? <laughs> 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 they, yeah, they call Oh, what does it say? It's been reportedly revealed. Oh, no. Let's see what it says here. Um, DNA points to an Air Force veteran. According to independent investigation agency, their information is solid. DNA evidence. Interesting. Is the guy still alive or is he dead? Huh. Inaccurate is that tweet. Inaccurate. Uh, I don't know. The, it was, so what is the, the uh, community notes on the tweet yeah. says inaccurate? Correct. Can we click on those? What does it say? Also, uh, code break. Okay, it says misleading tweet title inaccurate. Attached article states the FBI denies cases closed. Article states author has cited a whistleblower, not FBI identification. Read tweets linked article. Also, case breakers group making claims, not FBI. Hmm. Okay, so it's not that the FBI said that this case is closed. So it's a, a theory. Didn't they catch Richard, Richard Ramirez from his shoes? Did they? Yeah, I think they found his shoe print. You know what's most fucked up about guys like that? They go to jail and then women want to marry him. Why is that? I think it's some ancient primal instinct that some women have to be connected to killers. What? Yeah. Like, they, 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 do they see it as a power? I mean, I wonder. There's probably like legitimate psychologists like Jordan Peterson can answer this much more accurately. But I would imagine there's something because it's such a forbidden thing to do to kill people. Someone mm -hmm. just kills people all the time. There's probably some bizarre attraction that some mentally ill people have to someone like that. That's probably based on. It's probably based on DNA because if you wanted your children to survive, you would be better off. You'd be better off, you know, back in the barbarian days, with a, a slaughterer, not yeah. a slaughtery. Yeah, right. That's the guy you want. There's you want a the level guy that, of of unhealthy yeah. alpha. As long as he doesn't kill you. Yeah, you, know, you, you fuck him, and he kills everybody else. Like and they yay. might they might even see romance in that. Like yeah. he cho he chooses to kill yeah. everybody else, not me. Vampires. That's the thing about vampires. Women like like the whole Twilight thing. Mm -hmm. As long as he doesn't kill me, are, are, <laughs> you know he's like he's out there eating, sucking deer's dry because do you, he doesn't want to kill people do anymore. You, do you believe in vampires? Well, um, I think scientifically they believe that if vampires existed, there would be no more humans because it would just be a matter of time. Of they feeding? would just get us all and then turn us all into vampires. And then just the amount of people that would get turned into vampires, it would be an epidemic. You wouldn't be able to stop it. If they were superhuman and their powers and all that stuff, they would just yeah. overrun us. I guess that's that. They would just overrun us. Unless they would, unless they also would recognize that they would run out of a food supply. Well, then what are they going to do to survive? Just to survive, they have to keep eating people. And they keep in either they kill the people or they turn the people into vampires. So it's like depending on which lore, you yeah. know, which which lore are you going by? Are you going by the one where they kill all the people, or are you going by the one where they drain the blood of the ones they love, and then they let them turn into vampires because it's romantic? But I like, mean, people definitely do drink blood. It happens all. The, it happens like those are real rituals that happen oh, in yeah. Europe all the time. It's real satanic so dark. blood ritual shit. Yeah, for sure, that's real. But then there's like, you know, how much of it is. Just what people are scared of. They're scared of, you know, a, a, a thing like that. I mean, maybe it represents psychopaths to them. Because the original maybe. Dracula was based on Vlad uh, the Impaler, Vlad the Impaler right? yeah. Vlad, I think it was Vlad Tepes was his name. And this was a guy who literally 
impaled people on steaks and mm-hmm. sat down and ate his lunch in front of them. Insanity. And there was a woman who did bathe in the blood of children. Uh, That's a tricky one, too. That's Elizabeth Bathory. Yeah. Clinical vampirism. But it was, But I don't think that was to do with vampirism. I think it was more... I think she just believed the blood kept her youthful, I suppose. No, well, we'll get into that in a second, but look at this. Clinical vampirism, more commonly known as Renfield Syndrome, like is an obsession with drinking blood. The earliest presentation of clinical vampirism in psychiatric literature was a psychoanalytic interpretation of two cases uh, contributed by Richard L. Vandenberg and John F. Kelly, the authors point out over 50,000 people addicted to drinking blood have appeared in the psychiatric literature from 1892 to 2010. 50,000 people. This was documented in the work of Austrian forensic uh, psychiatrist Richard von Kraft Ebing. Ebing. Nailed it. Um, Many medical publications concerning clinical vampirism can be found in the literature of forensic psychiatry with the behavior being reported as an aspect of extraordinary violent crimes. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. So it's a real psychological disorder. Yeah. Uh, At least 50,000 people in the past 150 years. So the Elizabeth Bathory thing is an interesting one because... The story is that Elizabeth Bathory was this woman, and she was beautiful when she was younger, but as she started growing older, she started murdering young maidens and bathing in their blood, Mm -hmm. and that she was this evil, psychotic serial killer. And uh, That'd be a good movie. That's a good story, but there's also a counter story to that, that what they were trying to do was accuse her of this so they could take her land. Because she was uh, in control of this very coveted kingdom. Mm-hmm. And they, they essentially put her in house arrest because she was a royal, even though she was a serial killer, supposedly. Yeah. But there seems to be some possibility that there might be fuckery. See if you can find Damn. that. See if you can find that. I just read that recently because we, we talked about that on the podcast. And then somebody, I forget who it was, brought it up to me like, that might not, that might not, not have been what it's actually It's a troll happened. farm. Her brutality has been questioned by historians. Here it is. Several historians have argued that far from being a cruel and barbaric killer, Bathory was in fact merely a victim of a conspiracy. The Hungarian professor, try that one, Laszlo Nagy uh, claimed the accusations and proceedings against Bathory were politically motivated due to her extensive wealth and ownership of large lands in Hungary. 